back, everyone. A group is raising money to raise a symbol they believe will bring hope and healing to drivers across the region. WCBI's Ellie Martin has more from Prentice County where there's a movement to build the cross. Inspiration for the Build the Cross project began a year ago when a retired Mississippi Department of Corrections parole and probation officer had a conversation with God. In my talks with God, I told him if he had something he wanted me to do, I'd be glad to do it. And I repeated that a time or two during the pandemic. After seeing a picture of a cross on the side of a Mississippi highway on Facebook, Daryl Sailors put action to his commitment. Citizens of Prentice County and Northeast Mississippi, we're excited about building this cross. Since then, Sailors and others, including Prentice County Sheriff Randy Toller, have formed a nonprofit to collect money that will put a cross on a prime piece of real estate at Highway 45 and County Road 7000. Land for the project has been donated by farmers Bill and Marie Spain. The cross will be identical to others across the state. Most of those are off of Interstate 55. The Prentice County Cross will be the first in northeast Mississippi, standing 120 feet tall and 64 feet wide, with the seating area at the base and parking. Sailors believes the project will be a testament to the faith of many in the region and a beacon of hope for motorists who travel the highway every day. It's going to be a, a, a permanent reminder of, of what Jesus did for us all. And, um, you know, it's going to be seen by not only the folks here, there's thousands of people that pass that road right there. And uh, some of them are going to come out here and, and I hope we'll, you know, get to know God a little bit better in Jesus. The budget for the project is $200,000. In his line of work, Sheriff Toller encounters people every day who have lost hope. He believes the cross will help those who are hurting. Who knows, somebody may be at the lowest point in their life and uh, with no telling what kind of thoughts in their mind and they see this cross once it's constructed uh, and that may be the only sign of hope that they have. And who knows, they may pull in the parking lot here and, uh, you know, the Lord may touch them. Donations are closing in on $60,000. Once they reach $100,000, talks will start with a contractor who will have a timeline for construction of the cross project. In Boonville, Allie Martin, WCBI News. And there was a recent anonymous donation of $25,000 for that project.